At first glance, the DVX 200 struck me as not being large. As an all in one camera with 13 times zoom lens, microphone, and battery, my first impression was that it's able to cover an extremely wide range. I think it has a very user-friendly design. All necessary buttons are positioned right where the fingers naturally fall, making it extremely easy to use. Checking dailies every day at the hotel using DaVinci Resolve, I was surprised with the gradation. Spot on. And as I expected, its log capability is excellent. At first, due to its high compression, I didn't expect the gradation to fare so well even with log, but there was no need for concern. Even with such compact files and H.264 compression, I got results that rivaled raw images with its V-Log L. We've seen a DSLR shooting boom for the last few years. I think there are a lot of reasons for this, but more than anything, I think it's because the DSLR makes it easy to get the bokeh effects that simply weren't possible with a video camera until now. On the flip side though, focusing has become more difficult. Since the DVX200 has a four-third sensor, it lets you capture extremely good bokeh effects. People who use a DSLR camera because they want great bokeh images will feel no resistance in switching to the DVX200. Image shots demand a high-speed effect which is essential these days, and the DVX200 makes it so easy to shoot in high speed with 120 frames per second. On top of that, while other models have limits on recording time for high-speed shooting, there's no limit with the DVX200, and all you have to do is switch to 120 frames per second. Drones have a powerful advantage because they help us to capture shots that aren't possible with an ordinary manned helicopter. But true aerial photography gives the camera operator direct control of the camera, and zooming is also flexible. The DVX200 has highly effective image stabilizers, but I was still a little worried about handheld shooting for aerial shots of a comparatively small subject like a motorcycle. So I tested a gyro stabilizer on the bottom of the camera, but tests showed that it wasn't necessary. For the actual shooting, I didn't use any external gyro stabilizer at all and held the camera by hand all the time since the level of handheld shooting was all I needed. I think it depends on your budget, but from the viewpoint of a lens-integrated camera that doesn't need extra accessories on the body, the DVX200 offers extremely great cost-effectiveness. That said, the image quality is truly great. The DVX200 is capable of producing the image quality demanded today with 4K. Panasonic.